Smash Bros is an incredible game. Everyone knows it, everyone's played it, but tournaments are just not exciting to watch. Views are plummeting. I'd rather eat tuna than watch Sonic vs Sonic Grand Finals. And I really don't like tuna. I find it quite gross, actually. I know a lot of people like it, but... So I decided to create a tournament that is entertaining. Oh, roll in! What are you oh! doing? I invited eight of the best heavies players in the entire world to play against each other in a tournament. For our first competitor in the tournament, we have the number one seed, and that is Sky Jay's Incineroar. He is by far the number one Incineroar player in the world, and is ranked as the best heavies player overall in the entire world. He has defeated players such as Spargo. MK Leo himself has fallen to Sky J, and he defeats these people all with a smile on his face. This man must be extremely confident because he has been playing Tekken 8 for hours before this tournament has started. In my opinion, one of Sky J's keys to victory is going to be to use his down B for early kills on King Dedede. He has slow and obvious attack, so he should be able to down B, power up, and get the early kills. Because if you don't get early kills on Dedede, this fat penguin lives forever. Another thing he's gonna have to do is be patient finding openings. DDD's projectiles and range can make it quite difficult for Incineroar to approach, so hopefully Sky J can stay calm and wait for a good moment to pounce. Next up, we have his opponent, which is Midwest Mafia Kilogram Hours. This is a King DDD player from Iowa. He is currently ranked fifth in Iowa, and he is an absolute hero who came into this tournament with two days notice because the other King DDD pulled out. He is a classic 9 of 5 on the grind. He's a software engineer who assists with the construction of buildings. For kilogram hours, he's going to want to make Incineroar come to him. He's got the projectiles. He's got the range. Incineroar is going to have to be the one approaching. However, with this patience, another key to victory for kilogram hours, I would say, is don't get lazy with the Gordo throws. If he throws out these projectiles too far away from him, Incineroar will be able to power up for free. So look for kilogram hours to try and keep the Gordo projectiles nice and close to him, so that if Incineroar does try to power up, he can go in and get the punish. So this is kilogram hours versus Sky J. Perfect. I'm excited. I've been playing so much online in Cinero, and DDD is just always just a meme, whether oh. he's good or like on every online DDD. Yeah, that was. Oh my god, that trade was so worth it. He's down being the Gordo to power up there, and even though he got hit for it, he gets. Oh my god, the hammer! Yeah. The hammer! He's looking for the tournament away. already. Seven oh. the tournament. <laughs> It's coming out quick. <laughs> well, the Gordo's actually doing very well for kilogram hours. Like, not too many revenges on it. I always... See, you watch good DDDs and somehow all their Gordos are good. Oh, good space. it's such an easy move to, like, to stuff out. But I think they if just you, make it work. I think if you do the Gordo that's so close to you, if he does revenge it... Oh, good wait. If he does... He tried to revenge something. That's not getting anything but a DDD head up your nuts. <laughs> oh, and you don't want that. Although no, you, well, mouth, some though. people might. Yeah. We're not judging. We're already off to a crazy start this stream. <laughs> um, yeah, crazy commentary, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's see if Sky J can clean it up. But offstage DDD, like, you kind of just wait for him to come back. And he oh. did exactly that. Well done. I don't know about the high recovery there from kilogram hours but oh <laughs> good combo and the double oh, revenge and he catches the air dodge with the back air and now he set up a ledge trap oh your favorite Jumps thing in the it. world there jordan i Sets do up ledge trap. love a good ledge trap and kilogram hours looking really good against the top seed of the tournament sky j got the percent lead trying to make something work and i think the last stock he only took it around 100 with the up tilt so. yeah well if kilogram hours wins this this is like the biggest upset possible for this entire tournament. Yeah, this is seed one versus seed eight, Set, isn't it? Yeah. Best of three, only single elimination. Oh, so. <laughs> he was looking for a roll as well. It's scary. This is really close. Uh, this is hype. We're already off. Oh, did he look for the up tilt? Oh, oh Sky J knows dodge. though. Buffered the air dodge. That's a really weird situation. Yeah, I thought for a long time that that was a true combo, but it does turn out you can just air dodge it. Yeah, More but you have to you have to buffer your air dodge as well. It's like you both mm. get to act at the exact same time. It's a weird setup. Sky J. He's now taken the lead. But Kilogram Hours, if he gets the stock, he's doing so much better than I thought he would. Oh, he hits the Gordo after it's been sent back. Oh, and the revenge mama. brings the percent to 91. <laughs> You're talking about a comeback. Sky Jay's already looking to take Kilogram Hours' next stock. 
Oh! All right, let's see if we can get the, I mean, 90% on the lead just from one lolan whip boosted by the revenge. Ridiculous. I feel like Kilogram Hours is going to have to get him off stage and go for an edge guard. And he's got one set up. He went for the Oh my god, he started he's charging mad. it up. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't go off there. The $50 might be speaking to him in his ear. He pulled out the hammer. This is go. very Trying close. To get something going on the ledge here. Getting that ledge up. Oh, look at that forward air. Snuck in there with the spacing. Oh, and now he's powered up. That's what Kilogram Hours has to be very careful of. But okay, he's just got gets away the, with it. Uh, Nair revenge boosted. Kilogram Hours trying to get the Tomahawk, just barely avoids it. And you. So oh, close. Sky J gets away so with the close. Lariat. If Sky J gets hit by the hammer, he's dead. <laughs> that was ridiculous. All right, I think Kilogram Hours is going to go for the hammer again. They both can he's kill been each other. It up. They both can kill each other right now so easily. <gasps> he snuck Misses by. The Oh, oh, the no mix-up! He got it with the mix-up! <laughs> what a play! What a play! Game one to Kilogram Hours! That's like DDD's one mix-up, the going past the ledge. But Kilogram Hours hadn't used it the whole time, yeah. and it just caught SkyJ off the guard once. That's all you need. Last stop, you're both over 100. That he is... just needs one like successful mix-up or successful read. And he's already off to a great start! He's already looking at a, at a great stop! Woo! I love it. Like, every time Kilogram Hours gets like three hits, he's like, Woo. Yeah, let's do it. Send yeah. the hammer. Get it out. Oh my god. Oh, good little combo there. Yeah, he waited for the Gordo to hit so that he could combo it into the down tilt. Just optimizing the extra little damage there. It's really tough for Incineroar to get in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm surprised he's not like just trying to sit back and like revenge a few more of the Gordos. And maybe knock them back at DDD. It seems, yeah, DDD can set up That being said, it hasn't wall. been like working that well even when SkyJ's been trying that, so... Oh, nice little combo. He might. This could be. This could be set of the tournament straight up off the bat. Oh, and that barely doesn't kill DDD. He's so goddamn fat. That would kill almost every other Ooh. character in the game. Sweet spot forward air will do it though. He's right warming up. Teeth. He's warming up after all that Tekken 8. He's warming up. <laughs> yeah, SkyJ was uh, playing Tekken 8 on stream for like hours before this. So it might he be was. a bit rusty in Smash. But I think Tekken's got quite a few grappler characters. So if anything, it could have powered up the incident. Oh, all right. Oh, roll in. What is oh! oh my god, this is crazy! <laughs> this it's is crazy! crazy. Into it. Oh, oh my god, god. Kilogram Hours wanted that hammer like every single game so far and he finally gets one. He's putting the fear in to Sky J right now. The hammer is just such a weird option to go for at such high level play, but he's Yeah, he only so needs to take one more stock for the biggest upset of the tournament, but Sky J has been in big tournaments, huge top eights. Made he knows how to handle the pressure. He does. Is Kilogram Hours is going to be able to handle the pressure of having this lead here and close it out. Or can Sky he can J live for so long though, and I'm surprised like with the... There's some... Oh! oh! Nearly gets the read, just barely not in time there on the platform. Oh my god, I think this might be it. I'm feeling it. He's killing now has so all I've the momentum. Sky J bring it back from worse positions DDD than this. can live for so long. You've got to get the down Bs if you're going to kill DDD a bit a bit earlier. Tries to charge through that Gordo with dash attack, not quite making it. Oh, and oh, Kilogram Hours oh, oh, no. out the oh, hammer no. again. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, no. What's happened here? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Are they still playing? They're still playing. Uh, what's up? I'm striking. Oh, he's striking. Sky J won. Sky J won? Sky J brought that back. How'd he do it? You were writing the game off as well, Jordan. <laughs> oh my god. As soon as he didn't have Jordan's negative commentary, <laughs> uh, you know, watch it over his shoulder there. Oh, oh, he's juiced up real quick. All right, he's already got two Revengers. What? <laughs> what happened? He hit the Gordo, and it meant he couldn't get the like, timing on the Alolan Whip. That is so weird. No drag down from Kilogram Hours. Interesting choice. Could it continue that combo? Uh, Bit more! Oh! <laughs> you can't revenge the Gordo on the ledge because just charging the hammer. Is it oh worth it? God. Is it worth it to get the revenge on these Gordos that DDD can punish you on? It doesn't look well, on like that it. last one, Jordan. I'll tell you, it didn't <laughs> look very worth it. No. <laughs> this is what we wanted to see at the heavies only tournament. But I mean, we saw in the last match, or maybe we didn't see, <laughs> that Kilogram Hours had a big lead and he wasn't able to secure it at the end. He's got no. a big lead again. But is he going to be able to close it out this time? Got already 50% on SkyJ's next stock, 67, and the Gordos oh are my just God. coming out in He's force! He's baiting, baiting, baiting out the Revengers so well, it's actually nuts. I feel like it almost feels like it's not worth it to go for revenge on Gordo. That's what it's feeling like for me. Well, he's got no way. And making it back so safely by getting a cheeky hammer in the midst of it all. All right, SkyJ going for a low hit. 
He's going for anything at this point. The Alolan Whip off the top is going to do it, but he's on 128%. Yes, but he got a crazy comeback before with that spike. Oh, did he? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. Oh, 36. Oh. Look at that, Mario. All right, just this is crazy. four up airs. He's already got him to 60, and that is kill percent for Incineroar. Uh, did you see? He went to up B, and he was going to land on him if you wrench that Gordo. He's almost in the blast zone at 60. Oh, and now he's powered up. All he right, could take the stock first. Sky J. Make something work here. He's got oh, the revenge. Oh, he was looking for it. If he gets that revenge, that side B grab, it's done. Dead even. This is it's already living up to the hype of the tournament. Did it? He's so fat, man. He's so <laughs> and fat. And he gets the up tilt and oh it my turns God. it around. This could be the win of Kilogram Hour's life right now. Off the 9 to 5 into beating Sky J. Sky J not going for the uh, Darkest Lariat. I'm sure he Ooh. knows he's in a row better Ooh. than me, but I thought he might have been able to kill with down tilt and neutral B there. Oh, interesting. 176 is tough to get this kill. Yeah, Incineroar Nair is going to be really good for knocking back Ooh. the Gordos, but it hasn't worked out too well. And Skies is going to take it with a dash attack, only 25% on it. That's nothing to Incineroar. And this is honestly anyone's game, even more so than the last one. And ladies and gentlemen, if you lose this, you're gone. This is it! He reads the jump! jump! Well oh done to God. Kilogram Hours! Reading the jump and getting the upset of the tournament. He had the hammer charged. He just had to go for some kind of read on the ledge. Oh my God. Let's and he jumps up and catches him midair. Listen in to the players. Kilogram hours. Congratulations. <laughs> what a <Yeah>. win. <laughs> that was <laughs> nuts. What a jump read yeah. at the end. The hammer. Is yeah. that something you often use in your, in your sets, using the hammer so well? Everyone from my state knows it. Everyone in my state knows not to jump. They always do. <laughs> so you do use that. You use that jet hammer yep. a lot. Wow. Yes, it's kind of like my specialty. Yeah. Absolutely oh, amazing man. stuff. Well done. Mm. You move on to the semi-finals, and we'll see you there. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, yeah, everyone in my scene knows, like, yeah, you're going to get That's... fucked up if you try and jump from the ledge. Yeah, um... Sky J, maybe you should have done your homework. Yeah, so Sky J not revenging the second Gordo. I mean, like we were saying, half the time it wasn't working for him. And that jump wow. get up, it was just perfectly timed from kilogram hours. Like, to actually time a read on a jump get up. You need to go for the, like, full-on prediction. And if he missed the jet hammer, he would have been, like, probably dead. That is absolutely nuts. What an absolutely incredible set that was. This tournament is already living up to the hype. Now, for our next match, we have the number two seed of the tournament, and that is Leon, a Bowser player from America. Before Sky J was considered the goat of heavies, or maybe we should say kilogram hours now, Leon was the only Super Heavy to be seen as a top-level threat in the early days of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He has defeated players such as Spargo and Sonics, who are now seen as the best players in the entire game. So in my opinion, if Leon wins this tournament, even though it is online, I feel like it is a gigantic step in reclaiming that crown as the greatest heavyweight player in the world that Leon so desperately wants to get back again. He is up against a Donkey Kong player and my keys for victory against Donkey Kong is for Leon to avoid getting grabbed. Donkey Kong gets so much damage off his grabs and to not let Donkey Kong back to the stage using that fire breath, using that forward tilt, Bowser has the excellent tools that are needed keep Donkey Kong from getting back to the ledge, so watch out for that. Now his opponent, the seventh seed of the tournament, is Johnny, a Donkey Kong from Mexico. He is the best Donkey Kong in Mexico, and MKLeo, Spargo, all of these great players have been coming out of Mexico. Maybe Johnny is the next big thing because he has not traveled, but this online tournament opportunity gives him an opportunity to maybe present himself as the next big star out of Mexico. Now for me, Johnny's keys to victory against Leon are gonna be to charge up that punch. It's an extremely powerful tool for Donkey Kong to use, and I think it's great to have in the back pocket so that Bowser is more 
more nervous for doing big, risky, laggy attacks because if he can miss it and get punched for it, that is absolutely gonna mess with Leon's head. And my second key for Johnny is just going to be to use your movement extremely well. Bowser, in my opinion, is one of the best characters in the game if he knows where you're gonna be. He has so many mix-ups. He can side B, grab you through your shield, fire breath you, etc. You want to be out of Bowser's way. You want to be all the way out or all the way in. You don't want him to know where you are. Yeah, so Queen, like, yeah, the DK is Johnny and the Bowser is Leon, guys. Here we go. We've already seen an absolutely crazy match. Anything can happen here. The number one seed is already out of the tournament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's done. So expect oh, the unexpected. Yeah, they're playing pretty passive, like, out of the start here, just feeling each other out. I've played quite a few matches Ooh. against Leon, and the way I would personally think that he sort of plays, I mean, obviously, he's, like, incredibly good, but he's also always on the lookout for cheese. Like, yeah, yeah, you've got to be with a heavy. Every time Leon, like, took a stock against me, Ooh. and I've seen him do this to so many players, the, like, the side B that, like, carries you off stage and puts you in the blast zone. Yeah, it's And is he going to be looking for nuts. it here right now against Johnny? Oh, he's at the ledge, but he... Okay, Oof. he gets the grab. Already taken a whole stock, though. Leon, I don't even know if he needs the cheese. He's just bringing out oh. Oh. some clean-ass gameplay. All right, there's a the grab. Oh, does it work? Just missed it. And he gets so down close. there by Bowser in return. You know that as soon as Bowser's in the air, they're pressing down in their pressing special Oh, way. and he caught the hand. I think it would have spiked. He oh. is doing so well right now. And he caught Johnny's double jump. Doesn't go off for the fair though. He snatched his double jump out with the side B. Oh my god. Leon trying to reclaim that best heavy in the world title. Sky J's out. Sky yeah, J's true. out. Leon, that's, this is a tournament to win if you want to be the best heavy in the world. And oh! scoops him up again. Is that how, that's how he took the first stock exactly. Johnny needs to pull something out here. And he's, he's, pulling he's, out looking he's, he's looking for it. He's pulling out some it. forward smashes, isn't he? I like the idea because if you're down by this much, you've got to kind of hit something crazy. I would like to see a bit more of the, the punch coming out. I feel like yeah, that's such a strong, strong option. He's just looking for this kill and that's going to be it. Beautiful yeah. little... Uh, that's the We Will Rock the, you. Yeah, the boom boom clap right yep. there. That's what we call it. Okay, he's got the punch charged up now. But Leon's coming through with some force too. 50% for a Bowser. That's not much. Ooh, oh, Leon, I took him off the skill percent. Here's the flame breath. That's so brutal against DK, actually. Like, DK can't do anything to avoid that. Is he off? Oh, he's, he's gone! gone. He's I told gone. you about the cheese. <laughs> well done. Well done. Oh, oh, man. Leon getting game one right I'm there. I'm telling you, Leon's always like that's in the back of his mind. You play against Bowser for so long and then you just forget that he can do that. And that's an option that uh, will only really be very effective in the heavy tournament because a lot of characters can recover from there. In fact, K. Rool can if we see Leon come up True. against Kirby Kid. DDD won't we'll be, be able, able to, to as well. Yeah, DDD can come back. But Don when you're up against a Donkey Kong, yeah, he's got no hope. Donkey Kong is absolute trash for that. All right, Johnny is going to have to pull something out of the bag here. Because that last one was looking very one-sided in Leon's was. favor. It was. I think he's going to have to just try and, like, be completely out and avoid the attacks. And then kind of catch Leon by surprise getting in. 43 It's hard that. because if you can't get anything done in neutral as Donkey Kong in this one, like, you're just going to take a whole heap of damage in disadvantage from Bowser. But what Johnny wants to do is get Bowser up in the air, <laughs> and then he'll be able to keep Bowser up there. But he's <laughs> having a hard time doing so. Leon's actually just so good. I don't even know. It's like he's so patient and scary at the same time. You know what I mean? I feel like if you ever try and, like, freak out and attack him, he's always ready to avoid it like that. Yeah, he the jumped over punishes. the ground and killed you for it being aggressive but then if you're too slow he jumps on you I don't know he's so good it's a very like swapping up between being patient and being really really aggressive in the playstyle. something that like Sonic's does well but when you're doing it on Bowser it's a very different sort of you know it looks very different yeah that's not okay here we go and he lands at that time he uh, lands Johnny it. gets a cheeky little ding dong there I wonder if we're gonna see any like you know unique tricks from Johnny because when I feel like when you're the heavy player in a region in this case being the Donkey Kong in Mexico. It's Ooh. the same thing with what Kilogram Hours was saying, like, oh, I use the hammer on everyone. And, but then you don't know that till you verse exactly. these heavy players. They all have tricks up their sleeve. You've got to, if you're playing a character that's like this bad, yeah. <laughs> honestly, you can't really put it another way. Oh, got great to... read on the spot dodge. Johnny gets the down air Ooh. up smash, bringing that damage back. He needs to get, I think he needs to take this stock before Leon does. Otherwise, yeah. Leon might just run away with it. Oh! And he's gone! <laughs> Why did he get spiked? Why the did he get set smoke. up? <laughs> that was so... Oh, no, not again! again. Oh, okay, not oh, again. This man. time, Johnny gets oh, himself on stage. Oh, he waited for it. It's 
it's over. You said it was over before, Jordan, oh. and it wasn't. And oh, it won't be over okay, this okay, time. Okay, okay. Come on, Johnny, oh, keep Donkey Kong alive for me. Oh, man. He has to bring something. He has to get Leon up in the air and get something done here. He's, He's got to punch, do something that's ridiculously it. crazy. Oh, he almost broke shield. Oh, my God. They're both just oh, trying their best to grab. <laughs> he went for it. You've got to go for it. Get up attack. Yeah, nice. yeah. You got Get oh, he's not, not dead not yet. It, not, not, dead. It, not it. Oh, oh my god, how did that. he make it through with that I air dodge? I don't know. How did he make that through? He weaves the Oh, and oh, he gets him off. Oh, oh he missed, no, he missed the dunk. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No, shut up. How did he live that? <laughs> no way. I get his freaking toes. What a match. Well done. Johnny's oh, got to be kicking wow. himself there for missing that down air. He had it. <laughs> oh. That's how he was going to take the match. He, oh. You know, Bowser had to recover at that angle, but he just barely missed it. That was... Unfortunately, Leon going to be moving through to round two there. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. What a match. Let's get Leon on for a quick interview. Well done, Leon. You looked very confident out there. How, how do you feel in the match? I mean, I've played against DK a lot, so I was just trying to not get grabbed and uh i was just trying to like kind of get some crazy plays at ledge but it that was really yeah important. unbelievable yeah, yeah i feel like your movement was just a lot better than his you were able to like kind of catch him out and then when he went to attack you there was a moment he went to like grab you you jumped over it and like didn't air to back air and stuff yeah that's why i think bowser wins the matchup because he's just like faster and he's really good at just punishing dk especially when he's trying to recover and stuff like that yeah well well done congratulations Did wait leon to say? as you are now the top seed in the tournament since yep. sky j is yep. out wow, who so, are yeah. you most scared to verse Ooh. i don't know like the ganondorf is pretty scary ganondorf is really scary <laughs> like i don't know yeah i, I, have, like... I, I agree with that yeah <laughs> with bowser as yeah. well i feel like you could get stomped on a bit trying to recover against that the other bowsers think it's like even and i'm I think Bowser wins, but like I, I get it, you know. I get. Like, <laughs> I just say good luck with that because coming up against some of the best ganders in the world has got to be so scary. I know. Yeah, yeah, and you are is. fighting the winner of the next match, which which is Rickles and Chunky Kong. So, Ooh. anyways, we'll we'll let them come in, Leon. Thank you very much. Congrats on making okay. it to semifinals. If you enjoy Donkey Kong gameplay and are a bit sad now that Donkey Kong is knocked out of the tournament, do not worry because we are about to have the best Donkey Kong in the entire world up next and that is cold front chunky kong he lives in florida and for me his keys to win against a ganondorf player which he is up against is going to be to combo ganondorf horizontally ganondorf has an absolutely horrible recovery and donkey kong is great at either back airing or grabbing people to get them off the side of the stage. Against Ganondorf, I feel you also wanna be putting the pressure on him. Ganondorf is a character that doesn't have many quick attacks out of his shield, which is part of the reasons why Ganondorf is considered one of, if not the worst character in the game. So don't give him much respect. Go in there and show him why he's a trash character, in my opinion. Now the Ganondorf player in question is Rickles from Illinois. He was considered the best Ganondorf in the entire world for a long time. However, he has taken a bit of a back seat on Smash Bros and doesn't play as much anymore. In fact, his last tournament online or offline was about nine months ago, and that's enough time to create an entire human. Rickles' keys to victory is just going to be to stay calm, in my opinion, even with the miss inputs i'm sure he's not going to be as fresh and as tasty as he usually is with super smash bros taking such a long hiatus but it's good to have him back and i hope he just enjoys his time playing and i think he wants to be extremely patient in the neutral looking to outspace ganondorf and take your time but when you do get him just go as hard as you absolutely can go off stage try and stomp on his head and get early kills that is going to be the keys to victory, in my opinion, for Rickles. Rickles and Chunky Kong getting straight into it. Oh my god, and Chunky Kong already coming out of the gate strong. Ooh, it turns around so fast in these heavy matches. <laughs> I'm like, wow, 30% lead, and then Ganon hit one down air, and that's 24. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ooh! Oh, okay. Okay, Chunky looks like he's using the, uh, he's going to be using the punch a lot more. That was something I thought Johnny should use more. Chunky already doing like a few cheeky charges. Yeah, and just Every barely missing can. the edge guard. Rick was nearly taking an early stop. This matchup is pretty abysmal for Ganondorf. But Ganon, you know, has a lot of abysmal matchups, and the Ganon players somehow make it work. Yeah. That's Let's true. see if Rickles can make it work here against Chunky Kong. Ooh, and he does with a, a quick up smash. 
Chunky Kong trying to jump past him, get out of the corner. No, sir. Oh, trips. Oh, That'll that's it. That'll that trip dead. is evil. That trip. <laughs> that's it. Is that trip at like 70% as well. It tripped for a long time, that down tilt. Is it like a 30% chance, though, or something? Oh, no. It's like, a, it's like an 80% chance. What the hell? Main what the, what the hell is that? Out some he's moonwalking. Shit. He's moonwalking oh, on him. Oh, my God. He was, you see that? He was walking on the ledge to mix up the timing. Yeah, Chucky got carried him off stage and let Rickles break out so that he could get the follow up. What? And the he's getting hell a is lot this? of follow ups right on this platform. <laughs> Oh, he's just what Chunky Kong, he plays so confidently. I mean, he's up a stock now. He can have that confidence. Oh, and he's my. got the punch. No, he must have used the punch. He's lost it. We are seeing from the chat, apparently that's called the sticky walk, where you kind of walk on the ledge there for a bit. Oh, man. Oh, that unbelievable. <laughs> Chunky Kong with the sticky walk, the man. Sticky Smash walk. Bros. terms are so stupid. That makes sense. You're, st you're stuck on the floor. I don't know. It's kind of like a moonwalk, but just put forward instead of back. The Mars walk. All right, Rickles getting that back air, evening it up. Ooh. Oh man, I, I think Jesus I know what he's looking for. Right, yeah, Chunky Kong on that ledge, fishing hard. Oh, oh, is that it? I think that's it. That is a true combo, ladies and gentlemen. The up throw up air. That was nice. All right, I want to see Rickles take a game here. I want to see it go to a game three. But Chunky Kong is just looking pretty, uh, pretty damn good here too. So good. gets the oh trip. He knows it's gonna trip every time. Jesus. Oh, big read. Oh no, again! Be another again! Kill? He's so consistent at getting the percent. It seems to be around 80. Ganondorf has a huge window on him. If it's anything like the Ding Dong and Smash 4, I apologize that I don't know anything about the one in this game. But he's just. Oh, <laughs> that's evil! It. He just hit like that's seven down evil. tilts in a row. He oh. goes from technical kill confirmed straight to mashing. Oh, just that's like what a you get! Heavy. You slap me around! Ain't that up your ass! <laughs> it's like the like seven little weak slaps to one gigantic punch to the back of the head. Oh, oh, here we go. Edge guard setting it up. Oh my Good. god, he went so, so deep. deep. Rickles, what a great recovery there. Didn't even. Is know it gonna matter because Donkey ah. Kong can just take him off again? Yeah, nothing That's can done. Do. Nothing oh my can god, do. that's why I was saying it was a terrible matchup before. Pretty much being the main reason right there. Donkey Kong cargo throw off stage. That's again it's sleep paralysis demon now. Yeah, one. it is unfortunate that Rickles got, got uh, put into this. I feel like any other heavy is a better matchup for Ganon, but he's still doing very well. He's doing incredible. Can he get the edge guard? Finish it! Just oh, barely Ronaldo! misses, but he gets the Ronaldo! Ronaldo on the recovery as Chunky well. Chunky Kong thought he had a chance to come off and uh, to have a bit of a reversal on that edge no, guard. No, no. No, no, you'll get hit by the reverse hitbox on the Ronaldo. Oh, oh the trip! Oh, how do you know? He always how do you know? That was crazy. He did two. He didn't send it. And then one more and he, he sent didn't it. He punch on the first one, but oh, he did on the second one. My Chunky God. Kong knows when it's going to trip. <laughs> All right, 60. Guys, congratulations. What an absolutely amazing match. Chunky Kong, how did you know that was going to trip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and even if he misses, it's like not much lag. So, I mean, do I even get a punish on that, right? That is true. That is true. Rickles, well done. That's, I feel like that's a pretty difficult matchup for Ganon as well. You get edge guarded and stuff so easily. But you put up an amazing fight. Well done. We have had some absolutely cracking sets this tournament. And we finally come to our, our final match of round one. And that is Luke Warm, who is considered the best player from Louisiana. And he plays King K. Rule. Now, he has come straight from work. So I'm hoping he had a good day at work. Or even if he had a bad day, he just comes home. And he's like, you know what? I got to take my frustration out somewhere. Now, just as we saw in the last match, I feel like a key to victory against Ganondorf is going to be to get him off stage and use King K. Rool's giant aerials to edge guard. You've got to go out there and get the early kills on Ganondorf. Let him know why he's such a trash character. And with King K. Rool, though, I do feel like you want to avoid getting caught in the air against Ganondorf. So watch out for that. I feel like if they're both jumping at similar times that is the one area where Ganondorf and his long legs his long arms actually have the advantage so he's gonna he's gonna want to be careful jumping up in the air so watch out for that and finally we have Major the absolute hype machine himself as the fifth seed for this tournament this is seeded to be the closest game in round one it's the fourth and fifth seed Major is the number four ranked player 
in Oregon. He is a new school player. He's really hype and flashy, and I feel like he's just going to be trying to land some absolutely crazy edge guards as King K. Rool makes it back to the stage. Now, as a young, new, up-and-coming player that does come with nerves, in my keys to victory for EC Major, it's just going to be for him to try and stay calm. Probably don't look at the chat, don't look at the people in the stream calling out your name, getting excited for you to win or lose because it's gonna add to the pressure and he, he literally has in his X bio that he is a certified choker. So I'm hoping that he can shake those nerves off and concentrate in the high pressure situations. We'll have to see how that turns out. And the exact opposite for Luke Warm, obviously. My key for Major to get the victory is going to be to try and call out when King K. Rool is jumping in the air. If you can kind of figure out his timing and match that and call him out as Ganondorf, I think that's when you're going to find a lot of your openings. Let's enjoy this final match of round one. And I'm fairly certain this matchup sucks for Ganondorf. I mean, like every every matchup yeah, does. Uh, uh, how often do we need to say that Ganondorf doesn't really have any good matchups? But K rules projectiles can definitely keep Ganon like out. You know, keep him at bay. And he can edge guard Ganon quite well. And Ganon can't do the same. You know, Ganon usually can get the spike on other pay uh, characters. Yeah, but you can't really do that against K Rool unless you time a very good like down B wizard's kick spike. And if that you're doing beats that. It. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. But uh, you also die. So, you know, not a great <laughs> option. I'm sure Major is loving the chance to be versing a King K. Rool in tournament compared to probably what they usually face. I mean, you can face yeah, Joker, Sonic, Wolf, Pikachu. Sonic, Steve, Game & Watch. K. Rool is a lovely change of pace. And watching K. Rool is a lovely Ooh. change as well. I cannot believe that get-up attack reach, but Major oh. knew, knowing his character. Some long arms there. Yeah, the fact that Major was confident enough to go for that. Oh, oh and he dash attacks him into the cannonball. Luke you. also knowing their character. You, used to be known as Kirby Kid, we'll say that now. And yeah, has been playing K. Rule, best K. Rule in the world easily, and has been playing them for years. Yes, very. Oh, here we go. Here, Can we see something from Ganon here? Or is it, he's going to go for the ledge trap. So it is a bit too awkward. Yeah, I don't think you want to go off stage against K. Rule unless you know they don't have a jump. You know that you can get like a Ganon up the, yeah. uh, on the recovery, but it's got to be hard. Ooh, oh, okay, nice there's a the mix up. Jeez, Major is looking Straight for this for kill with the up smash with <laughs> the forward tilt. <laughs> and instead, it's Luke Warm that gets it by just sucking him up off stage. Oh, not in a good way. That's the one that you don't want. What's He's the one dead. you do want? Ah, uh, good Nairs coming out from Ganon What's... for the spacing <laughs> and the side B there, the choke. All right, oh, now yeah. Major reading the tech on the spot, though. And he's almost brought this stock straight back. All right, not able go. to get anything on the K-Rule recovery. It's a hard out there. Trying yeah. Trying to edge these crocodiles. I feel like they're winning neutral the same amount, but when Lukewarm gets a hit, he can take it so much further. you got to capitalize off every hit you get Ooh. as Ganon. And Major, only with 58% deficit. It's still well within the realm of possibilities here. All right, at the ledge trap again. Oh, he goes Ooh. to that side Ooh. off the ledge. Major's been doing that a lot. Manages to get the recovery, but no, he's off the set propeller. Off. And Bruce, again? You know oh. the combos off the propeller are actually true there if you hit That's it through the nuts. stage. You can do a jump get up and yeah, combo into a few different K rule aerials. Oh, here's a classic lead trap. Major does not this know what to do. This is the age old oh. option. He knew oh. he, Jordan, he knew exactly oh. what to do. What are you talking about? Oh, my Major man. being very patient, waiting for the perfect moment to get past that ledge trap Ooh. and nearly getting the spike. How oh. did it not spike? That's, that would have been crazy. Oh, Major's got Reads all the momentum. Oh, get up. Oh, Major is just getting it done with off that one hit. He's still playing. keeping it going and he's dodging around like oh. I've never seen Ganon do before. He's playing majorly well, we should say. That oh. was <laughs> Jordan's got that one written down on a notepad here. He's I been waiting not. all day to I use that. I do not have that written down. What's that other thing you've got next to it? He's playing really hot, not lukewarm. Oh, yes. sorry, that's if Luke that's Warm wins. Yeah, please don't read yeah, that Yeah, I got the yet. note pen. <laughs> Straight back to PS2. And remember, it's still best of three at this stage. This is the last best of three match. So yeah. Luke Warm's only got one chance to make it through to semifinals, and this match has got to be it. The end of round one here. And what is living up? It's fourth and fifth seed. It's supposed to be the closest match, and that was 
really, oh. really close. That's nasty. This match, on the other hand, not so close because lukewarm has sealed the deal with. He's Ozzy. playing hot right 20%. now. Twenty percent. He's playing, He's playing very, very hot. Luke hot at the oh. moment. Oh. Luke boiling. I don't know why they call him lukewarm because he's got cool combos. Oh yeah, it's very cool. Look at Luke Sub Zero right now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, We've lost 10 viewers just then. <laughs> okay, we got him back. We got him back. Major getting the down smash kill on the platform. Dude, K will actually have to be a bit careful about his belly getting broken in this matchup. Yeah, Some true. A lot of moves will break it in one go. It's so the accurate. Cannibal. Oh, that oh that's is it. Done. That is it. Very easy edge guards on Ganon when he's that far away from the stage. K. Rune is going to cover almost every option. Now, as Major, he's probably going to elect for the ledge trap. That's what he's been doing well. Uh -oh. oh no! But he doesn't have oh a jump. no! Not this time! He's though. dead! He's so, so dead! Wait. Okay. Oh, oh. He tried. He tried to grab K. Rool to make it. I was it like, back. I know Ganon's dead at this point, but then Lukewarm looked like it was almost going out there to save him. He tried to grab K. Rool to make it back with that up B that was like too low. You know, I don't think a lead really matters here because it seems like the last stock has just been where everything's been getting decided today. Yeah, whoever can get the biggest advantage state, it's like new winning neutral like five times doesn't matter if you could just win it once and get like one nice edge yeah, guard. Yeah, exactly. And that's why heavies are so fun to watch and so fun to play. All right, Major, again, not reading the tech roll behind, but he's he's going to start throwing, going for some of those reads on the side. Ooh. Surely. Oh, he clipped him. That's it. Wow. That's unbelievable that Major had to tech that. It was like the backwards sour that, hit of down air. That's nuts. No one's, no one's ready to tech that move. And then most characters could have recovered, but it is Ganondorf. Oh, oh, he pulled him into it. I know, using the suck for a little... He pulled him under... <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He oh, did. He did. No, it's hard to commentate with so much action. I'm not used to it, honestly. Oh, Major getting stuck on the platform. He had the right idea going for that Ooh. down air on the roll get up. And look how he's already brought all the damage back. So even. It's living Lukewarm up. had such a lead, but Ganondorf hits you once, and look where we are. Oh, look where we are, ladies oh. and gentlemen. You're in the blast zone. That's where you are, Lukewarm. He's, this is his tournament stock. Best of three, single elimination. He that could be done right now. Covered so much. Major looking to, uh, yeah, get through. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at the SD. Oh, no. Oh, dear. No, no. It's exciting. Now we're even percent. Last stop. It's anyone's game. Keeping it nice and close. I don't know what happened. How did he mess that up? I think he was trying to go Ooh. so low that K. Rool couldn't catch him. <gasps> this could be it. Great tech, even in the online lag. Major has to be very careful. Even though he's only at 13, like, K. Rool's edge guards on Ganon are insane. Oh, this uh -oh. time Major uh -oh. tried to do the same side B to catch... Kirby Kid sitting on that platform. Sorry, Lukewarm. He adjusted a bit, though. Oh, Okay, 10%. and Lukewarm looking very good here. Is he going to be able to get this ledge trap? No, Major facing the wrong way. Major's got to take advantage of this. This He's is huge. He's got the ledge. And the positions have changed now. Lukewarm, center stage. He's got the stage control. He's trying to get a spike on Major. Trying to get something uh -oh. done on this uh -oh. Ganondorf off uh -oh. stage. Uh -oh. It's scary. Oh, how did he get back? He can't. He can't make it back. <laughs> Has he got to jump? I feel like he's going to have... stuck in this ledge. Rolls, Rolls behind. behind! Can he get the read? Oh, he he the read! Oh, major. What a play! Lukewarm did that roll behind then on the third one. Oh, Major he... manages to get the read. Just caught him. Oh, my God. Went for one God. too many rolls behind. All right, let's bring in Major. Oh, my God. Major, Ooh. congratulations on the win. Thank you, thank you. My heart's pounding. Yeah, man. Is it? Was you a bit nervous? We saw the uh, Very, that SD yeah. there when you were trying to make it back on on your last stock. I mean, second last stock. Sorry, second last. Yeah, I was trying to go low to avoid like any any edge guards, but I just went too low. Just, just went a bit there. too low. Well, well done. You clutched it out. Amazing roll yes. on stage, and you're through to semifinals. The rest of the tournament is best of five now, so it'll give you a nice. little bit more room you to gotta, breathe. Got to carry the torch for Rickles. <laughs> Do it all. Send best, it all yeah. the way. Yeah, Rickles was saying he wants you to win. I'll try my best for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well done, Major. Thank you. Good luck in the rest of the tournament. Oh, hello. Have you heard about the School of Smash? It is a program I have created to help people like you get as good at Smash Bros as fast as possible. We've already been having amazing results. I give you guys personal VOD reviews. There's a private server. There's lectures every single week. It's been absolutely amazing. If you do want to find out more, hit the link in the description or hit the join button to become a School of Smash member right now. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this video and have a good day.
Alright, King DDD Ganondorf. This gotta be better than King DDD versus Incineroar, surely. Yeah, he's already got 44% <laughs> plus from Gordos, and Ganon having no projectile just Woo! almost decides the matchup. Like, DDD can just play at whatever pace he chooses to. And Ganon's the one that has to adapt, has to get <laughs> past the projectiles. Looks like he's not doing a fantastic job of it yet. Major taking 95.5% already. We might have messed up the seeding. Kilogram might have needed to be first seed. Yeah, instead Holy of, moly! Maybe him versus SkyJ was first versus eighth. Just Kilogram <laughs> hours was the first. Yeah. God damn, we might have seen grand finals off the bat. Because who who knows what the hell to do against DDD? It's ridiculous. That's the way he thing. uses the Gordo and the hammer, he mixes it up Good so Good DDDs well. might be up there for the most scary, like, people to verse. Up oh, there with, yeah. like, ice, hate ice climbers. It's like, they always do some, like, weird tech. DDD is just, like, they're weird people. I hate versing DDD because literally, straight, even in my, my second or third tournament ever, I got beaten by a King DDD and all he would do oh, was bastard. spam the crouch and the, the oh. taunt. Oh, my God. <laughs> and meanwhile, oh Kilogram is just God. spamming Jet Hammer, somehow working. He's got Major on the last stock. Breaks the shield. What? How do you get away from the hammers? Do you reckon everyone's sleeping on kilogram hours? Like, he's breaking but like, shield. Surely the hammer doesn't keep one. working. There's got to be, like, adjustments made. That, <laughs> <laughs> that, that move should again. not be working, but kilogram hours makes it work whenever he goddamn pleases. <laughs> it's crazy. He used it, he used it in neutral for ledge trap. It's not just, like, in a specific <laughs> situation. It's everywhere. All right, Major taking it out with a wizard's foot, but especially with the Gordo coming through for the post-humus damage, he's already what? on 76%. The post, what is a humus? It's like after he dies. All right, big words coming out. And big gameplay oh, with oh, the back air. Finishes him off right there. Major going to have to do some post-humus thinking about <laughs> where he can improve for the next game because he only took sick. one stock. Well done. Let's get a bit of an action replay here, shall we, of, this, of the shield break. Let's look at the setup. He like turns around Spaces. and then you don't even see the shield come out. That, that was almost frame one. That covered a roll and regular getter. That's why he walked backwards. That's crazy. No, I mean Major like spot dodged and then shielded. Oh, didn't really cover it. That, okay, yeah, yeah. Major neutral got up, then <laughs> spot dodged as he like turned around and then like shielded You're just right. a second. You are right. Okay, game two is best of five though. So first to win three. Right, someone said if we put Major on FD, he probably wins this. I'm assuming FD might have been banned in that case. CDD wants to keep getting in the air and platforms are the way to do it. Keep him juggled. Yeah, that is true. Look at the spacing. Does a cheeky jab, drifts back with the back air. We yeah. can see things turn around so quickly. Like, oh, just because yeah. it's all heavies. Yeah. I feel like I keep repeating myself when I say that, but a it is true break. every single match. Ha have there already been two shield breaks this tournament? Uh, yeah. How often, when you watch a tournament, do you see a shield break? Hardly ever. We've seen two in four matches, or five now. All right, just calm down a bit here, both trying to feel out and get things started. The neutral seems really tough for Major to get in, but he's playing it patient and, like, reflecting the Gordos with a lot of nares. Well, we literally saw Sky J, like, one of the best players in the world, has defeated MK Leo and Spargo. Couldn't <laughs> figure out how to get in effectively against Kilogram Hours. Like. Major figured something out. That short hop forward air to dodge the get-up attack and punish... Ooh. After Flame Choke, beautiful. I feel like Kilogram's hours spacing is what's just making him nuts in neutral, but Major... Yeah, I think Major wasn't able to punish a lot of it, but now he's playing a lot more patient and waiting for some better moments to get in. I've noticed that. I, f I feel a weird sense of calm, even though they're both <laughs> killing each other with heavy. It's, a, it's a gotten a bit more calm for once. Yeah, Major, I think, has just slowed it down by not rushing in as fast, and it's done... Very well for him, because as soon as he gets in against DDD, he's getting a lot of damage. Yeah, exactly. Here we oh, go, Killing Ram Hours gets the stage control, brings the hammer back out, and puts the fear of God no, into him! Another shield and break. it's another kill! Oh my god! That's gotta kill, right? Yeah. Everyone's getting tripped out by this hammer. The hammer is crazy. He had it charged for like a full so 10 long. seconds. So and long. And the one time Major chooses to try and make his move, that it's always the wrong time, no matter when you it's go. It's so scary, man. It's so these people are used to putting the fear in their opponent. Usually you're a heavy and you're versing some weak little character, but no, you need to be worried about getting your shit broken as well. Okay, let's see if Major can. He was very good at adapting to the option that uh, Lukewarm was using in the last match. Ooh. Read the roll for the third stock after Flame Choke. Let's see if he can adjust to some of Kilogram Hours habits too on those Flame Chokes. Yeah. 
last He's already got one kill uh, off the flame Ooh. choke, actually. Oh, I thought he had that. See, look, it's, it always looks like Kilogram Hours is in the lead. But then Major will, like, get so much more damage and yeah. then just die to a stupid forward smash <laughs> after getting shield broken at 40. Oh, nice combo. Okay, and now it's got Ooh. Kilogram Hours at 108%. Uh, let's poke through with an up air. You're going to be getting ledge. Manages oh, to make it back to bank. center stage. Nice back, it's back, back. I'm no, scared. No, I'm scared. No. I'm scared. He's lived. He somehow lived. Oh, oh baby. He has, he's up to the ground hours with two kills from the hammer. One in the first match. Oh, my. He was supposed to be a lamb for, for the slaughter for Sky J. The eight seed coming in last second, but he's, he's doing so well. Oh my god, let's take a look here. I can't get over these jet hammers, man. It's, it's like the so most scrubby nuts. option that has worked consistently. The spacing That, that back. is the fourth time Hammer has taken a stock. He super armored the final hit of neutral air. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna say that that just straight up took the stock. Like Ganon can't do anything Boom. there. Yeah, you're right. There's no way you Up can recover score. in uh, any way there. Yeah. Thing is, Major was looking so good in that match, apart from like he got his shield broken once by Hammer. He got sent off stage once by Hammer. <laughs> was there another <laughs> moment? <laughs> okay, like, look how good he looks, and then he just gets memed like twice. It's all about the kills. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe probably uh, pretty glad that he didn't roll into that one. I'm oh. pretty glad that he could just barely make it back. After getting the edge guard, uh, and he could get around straight back in. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't even lose his ledge trap. He got killed, and he came back and finished it off. Didn't even land on the stage. He's already hopping up, trying to get the uh, up air there. These guys play fast, even though it's slow characters. They are non-stop. God, that is so much damage for Major Ooh. there. He needs to secure this stock though, because otherwise we could just see him oh. die at this percent to another jet hammer. He's got to take the stock and get an actual lead. And then he can force Kilogram Hours to be the aggressor. Yeah, Major, and when he spawns in, he's at kill percent, we've seen. <laughs> a shield break and then charged up hammer near the ledge surely just kills no matter what you're at. Uh -oh. oh, my. Wait, the Gordo might have saved him. No, still oh, going to hit the blast zone. Kilogram Hours spacing. I keep repeating myself, but it's just absolutely so good. Uh-oh. It's just getting the kills that is proving to be, you know, for the hard part for Major. Because he's getting Kilogram Hours to, like, 100% really quickly. Yeah. And then killing King Dedede is such a task. It's so, so tough. Let's see it's if he can a land a forward job air. Trying to take one stock off this penguin. <laughs> He's looking for the forward air. That'll kill. Try Tries to get a to roll, get the roll in. Read. Yeah, Kilogram Hours rolled last time. Mixing up his options, though. Another forward air. Look, he's looking for it. He's trying to figure out how to get a kill. Down tilt, forward air. Well, 40%. I'll tell you one way that Kilogram Hours can there get a go. kill. Oh, yeah. Kilogram <laughs> Hours. Yeah. And is he going to try and finish this oh, match no. like that? Oh, he's okay. missed one, finally. Ooh. Shouldn't be like an event that he misses a jet hammer. But, but if he misses it's it... It's landing so often that it almost is a event. Oh, good. Yeah, that's it. That. No, no, with good DI. Oh, my God. It, it does the fake zoom in every time, but the Gordo's going to do it. 3-0. Three, Three, oh, two kilogram hours. And he's through to grand finals. <laughs> Just like that. Not losing a game. Should we bring him in straight in for an interview? I don't Major know what else has to been say. Upset. Kilogram hours. Congratulations. Grand finals. 3 0. What what were you seeing out there that got you the 3 0 win? I mean, it's it's a real tough match over Ganon. Uh, like, I am, since I play low tier myself, I'm like all Mr. Hopeful on, you know, doing well with characters. But Ganon's recovery, man. Yeah, so even as a low tier player, you even feel bad for Ganon. Ganon recovering yeah. bit. I don't know, you got a lot more kills on stage with those jet hammer True. shield breaks oh than on my the uh, God. I don't know <laughs> how you do recovery. it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I've noticed as well your spacing is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. kilogram hours. Jet hammer is like a really underrated move because if you think about it, it's just like a like a warlock punch that Gan has, but it comes out like frame nine or ten. You can move with it, change direction. It has the same amount of kill power. You know you what? You're complete. Yeah, I think everyone like in the really stream is agreeing with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you've shown us the light. You know, it's like Jesus, but for Jet Hammer. <laughs> Keep it going yep. into grand finals. I think you've become a bit of a fan favorite here. So good <laughs> yeah. luck. Good luck. Good luck, yeah. Kilogram Hours. Plan on it. Chunky Kong versus Leon. Looks like we're just starting off PS2. Classic. Once again. Yeah, this is already very different between Leon's game with Johnny. Because Chunky Kong's electing to stay back a little bit more, charging up the punch. Ooh. Oh my god, I thought he was going to go for the jump straight. 
straight <laughs> off. Even though I was saying earlier that that should not really work on any good player. But then it's a mix-up when it's like, okay, well, they probably punish you going low every time, so maybe I should jump. Yeah, you it's, never know. It's, it's all about the mix-ups. Just that is. What the heck was that? I've never seen that. The was you trying to drag him up onto the platform? <laughs> it like, looked grab like him? it. That would be crazy. I've never seen that. And then and another again, one! Do, he's doing these it! These uppies out of shield from Chunky Kong. I don't know what the hell it is about, but no, the it's working. The it's... first one, it was Leon. The first one, it was Oh, Leon. no, 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 but Chunky Kong's done a couple, like, short hop uppies, uppies out of shield, sorry. Yeah, I think because it, it's faster than the grounded up B, right? To yeah. To come out. So if you do a jump And it gets up good B, damage. It's very interesting. All right, Chunky Kong having a lead. We haven't seen Leon without a lead in this whole tournament yet. But Chunky Kong's looking to make it a two-stock lead. Going for some crazy reads there up on the platform. Yeah, and Leon, yeah, it was just another Donkey Kong. So we know that he knows this matchup well. He said he knows this matchup well, but Chunky Kong is just such a good player that he's bringing out some mix-ups there off the ledge with the punch. All right, that should be it. Lands on the platform. Yep. Just. And 69%, that's barely even a lead. Let's see if Chunky Kong can yeah, turn it one. into a stock. That's all you've got to do here against big, fat Ooh, Bowser. Good dodge. Oh, he knew that was going to trip, but a little bit too far away to get the grab. Good damage. Leon's ledge traps are so scary. He just keeps you there for so long. Yeah, Chunky, Chunky Kong's taken almost all the percent on this stock at the ledge there. Good spacing. That should be it. He knows. He knows the percent so well. It's, it seems Beautiful to be around 90. Beautiful pivot grab from Chunky directly under the platform. Got to watch out for that. Ooh, Chunky oh, Kong. here we go. Oh, oh. Trying to keep, I don't even know what the hell he was going for. Movement. Maybe That's the sick. sticky walk that you were talking about earlier there, Jordan. Yeah. Might have been trying to get something, but Leon was mashing. Here we go. No jump, no jump. What's he going to do? Is he going to forward tilt? You know these heavy yeah. players are good at mashing. Oh, my God. That's what they do all the time. <laughs> That's true. Maybe not these ones, though, actually. These guys have a bit of thought to them, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. High praise coming out here from Papa One. A uh, little bit of thought. thought going on in these a heavy matches. A lot of matches. thought. A lot of thought. Can you believe it? Oh, what a beautiful regrab on the platform there from Chunky. And the max range Ooh, down beat. That was long. Getting through flame breath. Yeah. Oh. Here we oh, go. Leon, he's seen the second jump get Ooh. used, but. He was waiting for something. An air dodge or a something. I'm not sure what it was exactly. But Chunky Kong not giving it to him. Holy shit, they're Nair. This so is much. almost in Bowser's realm of, like, kill confirms. Ooh, yeah, Nair to back it. We saw it before. It could kill if Leon could get that set up. But Chunky Kong. Right near the ledge. Yeah, he was Whoa. oppressing Leon's options with back airs there. He d went up and caught the jump, and then just caught him sitting near the ledge. Well done, well done, well done. But I love players are that. like spacing and just playing neutral so well because they know that if they get hit once, it's they're brutal. taking a lot of damage. They've optimized their advantage state so well that they got to be a bit careful in neutral. Oh my <laughs> god! I say that, and, yeah, up and then he throws out I an take up it back, you know? <laughs> they're crazy. They're oh, and they're crazy. Knew that, that was so smart. Knowing that Leon was going to try to go for the flame breath. So instead going high and just using the super armor on punch Ooh, to get around it. Good timing. Still going to lose his stock though. Leon's ledge trapping is so oppressive. Even if you can get through one, he's just, that's he just sits on that ledge for a while. I feel like that's his, like, uh, his area of expertise almost, Leon. You don't want to be against the ledge with him. Where I feel like Chunky Kong, his movement and stuff is crazy. He's the down B, like... He'll fly in and out with it. He's, he's finding openings that I never even thought were there. <laughs> yeah. Good side B. <laughs> <laughs> Great side B. One of the best oh, side Bs I've ever seen. Phenomenal side B. <laughs> and Leon's going to bring it to a two-stock lead there. <laughs> that guy made a nice back air. That's the second time Chunky Kong's done that little ledge trump there. He's, Ooh, and then he fakes it. it out. He did, he fakes it out. Very nice. Ooh, on the platform. Good spot dodge. Yeah, Leon always looking to get a side B when you're on, sitting on that platform. Yeah, Chunky Kong has pretty much got to take an entire stock unanswered to even bring it to even against Leon here. Ooh. But Leon's the one starting out with the grab, the double forward air. And he's got him at the ledge. The punch, oh, no. And that might just be it. Little stall there on Chunky Kong letting him come back to stage, but it's not going to be <laughs> enough because Leon... <laughs> <laughs> Takes him straight back off stage. The second time we have seen him go for that. Let's get a cheeky action replay. Why not? You have been hit by the Leon cheese. Do not get cheesed, everyone. And with DK, it's so evil doing that against Donkey Kong. Like, you're not making it back. Yeah, you can, like, Donkey mash Kong. jump and then, like, do a little flailing round near the blast zone. But you're definitely not making it back <laughs> to the ledge. 
See, it's the spacing on those down beats to beat Flame Breath. And that it seems there. like Chunky Gong knows this matchup very well. But yeah. Leon, I mean, Leon said he knew the matchup really well as well. I've never even considered like down B being able to outspace Flame Breath. Like you just think Flame Breath beats everything. Yeah. And these ledge traps are beating everything. <laughs> oh my god. At the very end it? of the Flame Breath, it doesn't actually deal any knockback till you get closer. Oh my god. But it's so good at ledge trapping. All right, that's a cheeky like thirty percent. He's been using that well to get out of disadvantage. Like, Donkey Kong sucks at getting off the ledge, making it back to stage, but saving your punch to make it back out of a bad defensive situation yeah, instead of only using it for offense. I mean, he's not in disadvantage at all at the moment. Oh, Chunky God, Kong is, is one of the cleanest edge oh guards. Oh, my God, he is this not dropping this. This advantage state is phenomenal. He's not yeah. dropping that. That was clean as... Only taking 4% that whole time from one trade from Bowser. Wow. Just absolutely clinical edge guard on Bowser there. He meant, like, Leon, I feel like... Oh, what was that? You see him doing Oh, that's going to be a grab, and that's big damage from Chunky Kong. The sour back end knocking him off the platform, and Leon needed to tech. Oh, these are some custom combos coming out from Chunky so Kong. So sick. This is what I wanted to see from this tournament. And it's, the good thing as well is, like, the heavy gets to do their crazy combos on heavy. Yeah. You know? It's just perfect. Oh, it's just utopia, isn't it? it this is, is what Smash Bros. Beautiful. should be. Beautiful. Here we go, off stage, where he can work his magic. I feel like Leon is. No Ooh. way that well hit. Done. I know the forward tilt does a good job at reaching below the stage there. Oh, good breed on the movement. Just missed out. Chunky Kong's, Chunky Kong's turn. Oh, is he going to go out? Go. Nah, not in the position to get like such a, as good an edge guard as he did last stock. That's just but it. But still grabs him and gets the stock off it. This is for the lead in the set. Yeah, whoever wins this will go Ooh. up 2-1. Only one match away from grand Ooh, finals. Fine. I don't know how we did think we'd see this go pretty even though, and it's not disappointing in no. that regard. It is very close here. Oh, he turned around so quick. We need a replay. I've never seen someone turn around that quick. That was nuts. How did he do that? What the hell? Look at how. Uh, so we see Leon. Uh, he drops through the platform and goes for the nair. He turns around so far. Might have been an attack cancel. He even. was still moving forward as he turned around. I don't understand that. I don't know if we want to keep going to PS2 here. I mean, like, I think Leon, they do. Yeah, well, Leon <laughs> seems very comfortable on it. No, we I never leave know, PS2. Yeah. That's just tournaments, isn't it? Yeah, it just is what it but is. But you might want to change something up because Leon's already got a stock lead. And, you know, Chunky has already got his work cut out for him, bringing this one back. Yep, good juggles here. Keeping him in the air with that quick up air. You just need to be very careful because Bowser could like down air or down B yeah, at like any moment. Yeah, it's like 50-50. Do you wait for the Bowser to do their like down air or down B? Or, or do, you do you just send surprise it him? and risk it? Well, this could be it. Yeah, that's a uh, forward throw. Off wow. he goes. Chunky Kong taking zero damage since I called out the fact that he uh, lost the stock first. So <laughs> yeah. Good work keeping it even. He wants that game five. He wants to make it into grand final. He's on that hopium. At taking... <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> he wants the chance of taking down kilogram hours. Great work. Working his way past the Slips flame breath. through. I don't know how he managed to slip through. Oh, this is it. He's got no jump. He's got to go out there. And he does, nice. yeah. Bowser didn't have many options there, apart from going high. And that's it. I mean, you get to see edge guards, because really, K. Rule, I feel like, was the only character with, like, an amazing recovery in this tournament. I guess DDD's is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. We've been seeing Killer Gun now live a long time. That's been the... Uh, you're actually, you know what? I think that's been a big difference maker because these guys yeah, are just, just getting not dying off stage. Kilogram hours. These guys are getting really early kills. The kilogram hours just managed to live and live and then break people's shields in the process. <laughs> a smash attack from Bowser. Oh, I think Chunky Kong tries to tomahawk, but Leon gets the tomahawk himself. Oh! Tries to take him off the top. He's going all the way up. Back air will do it for Bowser. Side B near the ledge might do it. He's got a lot of options. Chunky Kong, no combo. Is that it? No. That's it. We oh! got the game five. Oh! Chunky Kong never lost it. He's got that hopium and he is huffing it. Oh my god. He got it with the tip of down B, I swear. And at 67, landing that hit of down B and that gets just the kill. into the grab. He's already pummeling. He knows the percents. Boom. Wow. That's kind of crazy. That down B with that much range is death. At, at that low percent. We wanted a game five, Jordan, and here we are. Oh my god, Leon does not want any more games. He's running so fast out the gate. Already taken 40 Look, he's so, yes, it's a surprise factor. Game five, you're like, okay, let's slow it down. Let's be a bit, uh, you're a bit nervous. You know, it's game five. Leon's, no, no, let's speed it up. Yeah. Get, 
He's, he's like, you didn't even deserve this game five. I'm going straight to Grand. Yeah, Leon has been at it for a while as one of the best players in the world. You've got to think he's very used to these situations. And he's taken advantage of them by being extremely aggressive off the bat. Oh, cheeky. Trying to get that ledge trap there again. That's oh! a shield break. And, and he's just oh, straight up just dead. Done. You're done. Well, how Not... many shield breaks have we seen today, Jordan? That, I, I think, think it's was four the or four five. Fifth? It's a no, lot. We saw a Ganon one, so that must have been the fifth. It's a lot. And more than you would see it watching seven majors, I feel. <laughs> it's like, it's really... And then Matt, he brought it out. He saved it for game he five. He did save it. He's got so many mix ups, game five, with the aggressive play, the mash. He's spinning around like a Beyblade. Oh my god. Look at him jumping on the shield as well. I don't know if you can call up out a shield a mix up, but the, the other ones were yeah. all very valid. <laughs> Oh, oh that's dead. Forward Unless throw. he mashes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Leon would have you been never know. <laughs> breaking his controller to mash out of that one. But he's already got him back at the ledge, and this is where Leon shines. Oh, the ledge traps so catches good at him that. with the forward tilt. He's so good. Chunky needs to take almost this entire stock unanswered, but he's done it before, and will he do it again? Already 37. All right, there we go. Leon fighting back here. Oh, two in a row. That brings you to 42. Jesus. And that, yeah, one more near back here. You might just be done. Let's see if Chunky Kong can make something happen instead. Good spacing. What's he going to look for here? Oh, oh no, not again. Don't He's, the, he's not done it on the stage. He's done a lot. Chunky Kong ready to DI that. Hey, Chunky Kong's also bringing out the best DI we've seen on that Yeah, move fool me one five. Yeah. Oh, Trying God. to make it into Grand here. Punish. That's... Oh, he misses what the happened? grab. Oh, That's no. unfortunate. Okay, this is, this is the up throw up air percent. He's spacing for it. There it is. Oh, I was yep. telling you. Yep. <laughs> As Last soon as you mentioned dunk. that, I was like, oh, that's why Chunky Kong's, you know, like, slowly walking around. He's fishing for something. Yeah, exactly. And, oh, my God, Zach, this is it. Game five for grand finals. This has been an amazing set. Perhaps set of the oh. tournament. Oh, oh, no, wait. Get him with the jump. No. Oh, oh, he did jump. He actually jumped. I can't believe he it. He jumped. Did he got a punch he it? Jumped. Oh, he missed it. No. He missed it. Oh, oh he didn't even slipped by. He should have punched. He slipped by. I thought he was going to try and punch his recovery. I thought he was going to punch on the jump. Oh my god, Chunky Leon. Kong's so close. And the fact he... that he charged up smash after slipping by all that. Let's take a look. <laughs> Gets caught with a jump. Luckily didn't get spiked. I thought Chunky Kong was going to uh, do the punch there on the jump. Could he have not can, a, yeah, could he have not a common... jump punch. Oh man. And then he just, you know what? I'm back, baby. I might not be back for long. <laughs> Let's finish it. <laughs> Game oh, five. Chunky Kong's got to be kicking himself after missing that edge guard, but what a great what showing. What a set, potentially set of the tournament. What are you feeling we'll for set to, of the tournament? We'll have to wait till grand finals. Let's, um, let's get Leon in for the uh, for the voice I chat. Thought... Here he is, Leon. You've scraped yourself into grand finals there. What Bro, were you what, thinking in that edge guard? jump? I know. I, at the end there, when he got me off stage, I was like, oh, GG's. <laughs> <I guess it's laughs> you did the classic jump as well, Leon, but you scraped by. And Were you just excited to try and look for the kill once you got back to stage? Yeah, I was just getting a little antsy at that point. Like, I really, I didn't want to, like, for that to happen, like, for me to get cheese somehow. So I was just like, <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, well done. We'll we'll let you go straight into grand finals against Kilogram Hours. Although, before the match, I would like to... Get a bit of a sense of what are, what are you feeling about kilogram hours? You probably weren't expecting to to be up against this guy in grand finals. Um, I'm pretty shook, honestly. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a DDD land so many jet hammers. It's so... gonna be yeah. It is gonna be an interesting one. Good luck to you, sir. Hopefully you figure it out. Um, yeah, yeah we'll let you get you. on to to grand finals. All right, thank you. So this is just one best of five, isn't it? We don't have a bracket what? reset. No, this is it. This is the true. Grand final. This is the guys. best heavy in the world title that we're fighting for here, guys. We've yeah. got Leon coming in with a big smoke tag. We'll see if, it, if we see some more smoke. We've been seeing it all day. And I'm so excited. Dude, Kilogram Hours is such a treat to watch. And like a hidden gem, really. I'd, I'll be honest, I had never heard of this guy. But he was like, I'll come through two days before the tournament. People were saying he was good. And Damn. he has You know if someone it. can like organize their time and come through last minute. 
then they're just a good person, good player. It's true, and he works a nine to five. He, he might wow, have kids. Wow, what a hero. He probably, has, he probably has a family. What a hero. He probably has and three bring, dogs. Brings out the jet hammer oh, too. That man. is a hero of the people. Oh, and he mixed and up he's the already CI. taken the first stock off Leon. Did you see that? He got him to the other side of the hammer. And it sent him in a different direction that he wasn't ready for. And, and Leon admitted he is Not shook. Not the sucking gun! He is shook. And okay. I don't think Kilogram has fear. <laughs> I don't think he feels it, Zach. He sounds so chill when we talk to him in the interviews. And then he comes out with this gameplay. Just <laughs> an insane man. It's the same vibe of like, you know, like a crazy extreme adrenaline like surfer or something. They'll be like, yo, bro. Like, they're so chill. Yeah. Probably because they're so used to like the, the adrenaline and... And stuff like that. I feel like that's Kilogram Hours. He does the most ridiculous things with DDD. And then he's like, yeah, I mean... Well, I feel like Kilogram's got enough fans now. He could probably crowd surf. So maybe he is a little oh, bit of a surfer. Oh, that is true. And yeah, Leon, yeah, admitted to being shook. So we'll see if he can work through that fear. I mean, he's worked it back to an even game here. Oh, the other way! A little sour spot. Turn around the other way. That's all right. Oh. But it was that just a read on the neutral get-up timing? <laughs> that's so good. Oh my god. Alright, Leon so is freak. not letting Kilogram Hours get away with much though. He's bringing back the percents like very soon after. He's an absolute freak. He's got to go on some list or something of, I don't know, people you need to be worried about. He's... Did that Gordon just hit him in the belly? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We've got the, the Jet <laughs> Hammers come out! People... Please, don't do it to him! People not keep like shielding, this. Zach. That's the bit I don't understand is people keep shielding. He almost got it broken. Who is this guy? Where did he come from? <laughs> oh, Leon in aggressively. All right, Kilogram Hours needs this kill. And what's the way to do it? Jet Hammer, that's what of I say. Of course. You know, he's probably got some better cool confirms than that. But I'm saying Jet Hammer. Ah, he'll whip it out. The, the Jet Hammer, that is. Here, here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. No. Imagine just, just having clean gameplay and just winning the match. Another win in a row. That is Quickly. four wins. Un no, five wins in a row in this tournament for Kilogram Hours. He's on an absolute And we lost the tear. footage of the one game he lost, so you might as well say that he's been <laughs> on a true. winning streak all day today because we haven't seen him lose. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I haven't seen this man lose, yeah, Jack. I don't know about you. I think he's won every match. <laughs> uh, we did see Leon very quickly adjust after losing the first match to Chunky Kong, though. Then he uh, brought it all the way back, winning the set. So, you know, look at him. Already playing a lot more patient against the Gordos. So I think Leon, definitely a seasoned player, going to be able to make those adjustments. Is Kilogram Hours used to the pressure, and will he be able to keep this up? I feel in like the best he is. of five set now. I feel like he is. I don't think he feels pressure. This man... He's a software engineer. He cre <laughs> he helps make buildings skyscrapers for a living. Imagine the pressure of that messing up. I don't think he cares about a little bows of oh, his DDD little, little action. Tournament match in the heavies tournament. <laughs> I don't think he gives a damn. To be honest, he's off to another lead. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, that's yeah. yeah. Real quick way to lose that lead. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, interestingly enough, both these players have been the ones who go for the hardest reads. Yeah. Like Leon charges up smash and kilogram hours. Obviously, the hammer and the down smash like, right there. We're seeing it live as you're talking about it. They just they're the ones who have made it the furthest because they've been getting the kills so early. Both really good ledge traps as well. And then eventually they'll just go for a hard read on the ledge traps like Leon with that charged up smash. And exactly. uh, we've seen kilogram hours with many of those jet hammers too. Such a, he's such a crazy guy, isn't he? Oh, here we go, again. Coming back with the Nair. Not, well done, Leon, for just hitting that straight back. Not respecting Gordo as much. Yeah, you got to try and be able to use the Gordo against DDD if you can. Oh, went for the surprise option. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, Leon already making some adjustments, like, dodging the up airs before, like, fast fall and mixing up the movement. Oh, nice. Brought it back almost to an even game, but gets oh, that clipped back by air. DDD's back air before he can bring out one of his own. Yeah, that was literally just who could press it first there. Kilogram hours a bit quicker on the draw. Oh, there's a back air though. Here we go. I feel like Leon is probably thinking he might need to go out there and start looking for forward I'm airs. thinking that, yeah, he should yeah. be going out there, but he's so good at the ledge trapping that you probably don't want to. It's like less consistent. Oh! Oh, oh, nearly getting the double oh, He waited for everything. I can't believe he didn't hit the, the spot dodge with that. I mean, they're just getting dunked on with the I back end, though. He just... Okay. All right, Leon's get, trying to teach this penguin a lesson. Oh, dear. No more happy hammer. <laughs> 70%. Oh, there, that's what we're talking about, Zach. He's, I think he's going to look for those forward airs a bit more aggressively now. Because otherwise, DD's going to live for too long. Yeah, he's Aggressive getting the back air. 
Well done. Finally, we see Kilogram Hours. The first match I've ever seen him lose in my entire life, Zach. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, man. We were, we were literally hinting of it. You know, we're pretty good players, actually, Zach. You've got to get the <laughs> early, early kills on DDD, because otherwise you lose for too long. Gets him on the ledge a bit there, and then surprise. I think Leon just Back also... Air. You know, you verse a good DDD for the first time, you're not going to be prepared. Getting that one be. game at the start, same thing as when Chunky Kong got that one game off Leon. And the adjustments he's made, he looks so much better after that first game. Good adaptions. Now we're in for a real fight, 1-1. One, one. Who's going to take the lead in this grand finals? The For the best heavy in the world. Yeah, the title that it everyone's wanting. Right now. And then we'll finally be able to ask him, what the hell does kilogram hours mean? Yeah, true. Big smoke, I wonder if that's a great He only tells reference. you if he wins the tournament, I heard. <laughs> and he's been telling everyone lately because he doesn't stop winning. <laughs> Leon just can't get a hit in here. Get in in neutral. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the he's got yeah. now. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's too straight Commentator's away. Commentator's curse, but that's okay. I like a nice even match. I wanted him to get in. Me too. That's what I really. Oh, the armor! You can't be doing the rapid jab against Bowser. It's Bowser... interesting that even DDD's jab is uh, not enough to get through Tough Guy. Because it was such high percent as well, but no. Bowser's got the Tough Guy ability, he can get through a lot of. Weak moves, and usually you don't see that in these matchups, but the rapid jab will be one. Yeah, no nice. Gordo's getting through that Bowser near. That's oh, what Leon perfect. needs to do and catch these landings. Beautiful first stock taken off kilogram hours. Actually perfect. Whoa, oh, whoa, back okay, here. we're juggling off stage. We're in the circus. What are we doing with that Gordo? Oh, the double Ooh. hit! Killingham Hours knows how to do that like every time. He keeps getting that. And he's ready for the follow-up off it as well. Oh boy! He's got the Gordo out, he's got the hammer. You know what else he's ready for? Another jet hammer every time. <laughs> I like that Leon was brave that time though. He didn't risk he's just landing straight on top of him with the neutral air. He's like, I'm not gonna let you wait until the jet hammer is, like charges up and gets even stronger. Yeah, I'm gonna don't attack it. I mean it's a terrible option. As far, as far as I was... I don't know if it is, Zach. As far as I was concerned until today, I'm saying that, like, I feel like to beat it, you need to treat it like a bad option. And you just got to get in it. Because if you... But everyone, people are respecting it. And then it gets you know? stronger and stronger exactly. each second. And yeah. kilogram hours is just so scary that people, you know, they see him charging it. And Ooh. They're, <laughs> uh, yeah, I completely agree. They're trying to respect agree. it. A stock each. 0% on the board. Dead even. This is so high. Winning this will be the lead... Oh my god, nearly oh. getting the jab too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right? Oh, went for a crazy option there. Kilogram hours, the good spacing that he's been showing all tournament has managed to avoid it. And the winner of this Ooh. is going to be in Ooh. such a good position going into games four and five. Yeah. He tries to get that forward to send him off stage. It's okay. Snatches him up. Can he get the edge guard now? This could be it. This could be it, Zach. Oh, that was crazy to go for. I can't believe he didn't get punished for that down here. Both of them are swinging, no moves, somehow connecting though. It's so oh! close. Let's They're trap. weaving and dodging. Dip, dock, dodging and diving. Oh, God. I didn't even know what to say. It's so close. My buttonhole's clenched. <laughs> that is not what to say. You said you oh! didn't, Jordan, you said you didn't know what to say. I will tell you that, <laughs> that was, was not, not it. it. <laughs> the multi-choice I have failed. <laughs> oh. Good spacing. Oh, and 161. Keeping up the pace. Oh, he's crazy. But Leon sneaks he's in. He's knock in. Like a little mouse Gordo. in the night. But in fact, a big turtle in the night. That was crazy. <laughs> it may be the biggest character in the game. Snuffed straight past him. Literally is the heaviest character in Smash Bros. He was aggressive. He snuck under... Look, under the Look, Gordo, and he, he overshot it because he knew that Kilogram Hours would try to retreat there. He Very ran smart. all the way to center stage to get that up smash. I want to see Kilogram Hours bring us to a game five. I won't lie, I want him to win yeah, this. Yeah, me too. I'll be honest. The I fan favorite so far of the tournament. At least bring it to a game oh, five, oh, and it's looking like he was wants almost to with a quick jet hammer. Any other character in the entire game would have died there. Oh, he's uh, he's dead to that though. But yeah, Bowser is the heaviest in the whole game. Only just survived that. That was, I think, he killed Bowser with like three hits. That doesn't make sense. Uh, it does if one of the hits is jet hammer and the other, and the other one's charged one's down smash. <laughs> I can't believe it's probably, it. Probably the only situation where it does make sense against a King I Dedede can't here. Can't believe how good he is. Here's the juggles. That's what Ooh. he's got to do, keep Bowser up in the air like this. He's juggling. He's actually not juggling by jumping up and up airing. And okay, well, okay. 
Don't no, worry. I see what you mean. He's staying to the side and setting up the Gordos and yes. just frame trapping Bowser's landing. Because it avoids. So he's got nowhere to go. It avoids the mix up of Bowser landing with down air, landing with down B. He doesn't care about that. He's gonna. He's just gonna catch your landing. It's, it's working well. Oh jeez, not gonna catch that landing. God. The Jet Hammer. Leon was already behind him trying to bring this match back. Let's see. This is where Kilogram Hours really needs to secure the stock. Otherwise, Leon is gonna get so much damage and can almost oh! run away to a point where some of Leon's moves are gonna be killing right now. Yeah. Leon is doing a fantastic job of being aggressive when he needs to be. Oh! <laughs> God. Like just then, almost taking the stock before Kilogram Hours, despite having taken so much more percent on this stock. You're it's right. all about oh. when you get the kill. And, ki and Kilogram Hours just cannot Sheesh. find it right now. Can Leon find it? That's the question. And Kilogram Hours has been scared to use Jab because he has to use the Rapid Jab if he's going to finish his Jab, but that doesn't work against Bowser. No Shield other. Break. The green DDD is fitting because they are both so high right now. 168, 164, and that's, that's it, it, that's it. Leon coming through with the landing. He only needs one more stock off Kilogram Hours to and take a tournament his entire is his. tournament. The best Bowser in the world. Is it him? Is he back? No, the best heavy in the world. Oh, sorry. Mean. Yeah, my mistake. Not I meant Bowser. to say that. We're meant... going for the best heavy. The best heavy in the entire world. And Leon's world. looking like he wants to take it right now. So much percent. I think it's it. I think this is his crown to wear. He is the king after all, Bowser. Oh, he wanted the roll. He wanted the roll. Well, I mean, King, king DDD is also a king. Oh, you're right. <laughs> anyway, Leon's <laughs> oh, looking oh, up here. up there. Oh, oh he lives. 202. How do you live that's so enough long? Per, that's enough percent to take three stocks, but not off Leon. Not and he off Big the Smoke. Auto back to oh, him. God. This swinging kilogram hours wants the hit. He needs the kill. And Leon it's gets done. it. It's done. He is the champion. A Leon. 16%. He just stayed alive. Not getting hit by the jet hammer. Holy moly. Leon. Living to 216. <laughs> Let's take a look at this to finish off the tournament. Kilogram Hours was killing everyone so early with those jet hammers. But Leon figured out something. We'll have to ask him. Um, because he just lived for so long. He's in the chat. What a play. Um, is he in the chat? No, no, he's not no. in. We'll get him in. We will get him in. Congratulations to Leon. Here he is. Leon, congratulations. Walk us through what you were thinking there to adapt and kind of live to 216% against this guy who's been killing everyone at 30. So I was like, one thing that was running through my mind the whole set was like, how, what is the answer to Gordo on Wi-Fi? Like, if he sits in the corner and just throws Gordo, like, what am I supposed to do? Mm. So I guess I kind of like just started respecting it and trying to avoid like shielding so I wouldn't get inhaled because I kept getting hit yeah. by that. Getting inhaled yeah. or your shield broken <laughs> as well. Yeah. We, we were also yeah. noticing you were doing some great, even though you were patient, Every now and then, you would go in crazy for an up smash. Was that part of the, the game plan as well? Yeah, I think it was like for the game three, it was mm. like super last hit. And I was at ledge, getting ledge trapped. And I was in my, my thought process was, okay, I'm just going to run up and do it. Yeah, <laughs> like there no. Was... Well, it worked yeah. out amazingly. Leon, congratulations for being the champion. Officially the best heavy in the entire world. And that you heard is, it here. Yeah, that's confirmed. From that's... the best heavy in the world, the way to win is just yes, run yes. up and do it. <laughs> yeah. That sounds very it's just run up and do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We Get this man a Nike energy. sponsor. Anyways, yeah. Leon, <laughs> Leon, congratulations. I'll, I'll let you go. Well done. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me and everything. Well, that was it. The yeah, tournament. That was, that was so much fun. We do have one more thing we have to announce, Zach. And that is the set of I the tournament. I have no idea. Oh, no, I do. <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to go to Major versus Kilogram Hours. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because that sort of, you know, solidified kilogram hours, like the Jet Hammer play style was yeah. just such a fan favorite. And he got the two shield breaks. I think four Jet Hammer kills just in that one set. Even though it <laughs> didn't go to game five, I remember it just being insane between that. Also, I think that's when Major got the shield break on kilogram hours as well, was it not? Was and it? got the Warlock punch. I'm not sure, actually. I can't remember. I think Rickles did. Oh, there was so much action. I literally am going to have to watch it back to see. Oh, yeah. maybe not. But yeah, Kilogram Hours versus Major was my favorite. That was insane. A lot so more sick. crazy moments in that than uh, Leon versus Chunky Kong was a close second. Yeah, that was I very think. good. And Grand Finals was also I mean, amazing. Killing the first of the, I the think tournament it's go to, was nuts. Yeah, the Major bat. 
and Kilogram Hours for being two of the fan favourites. All right, well, congratulations to them. I'll see if Kilogram Hours wants to come in. We can at least ask him his name and, and get him an interview. Yeah, and the chat wants an interview as well. It's He's coming that, in. Um... Kilogram Hours, you came oh. in second, but you came in first in our hearts. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had a ton of fun. Thanks for hosting the event and inviting me. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because I feel like talking to you, it's so, like, chill. But then you play like an absolute <laughs> madman. You're going for such crazy reads. We do want to ask you, what does kilogram hours actually... What does that mean, kilogram uh, hours? It's just, it's just a thing off my initials, KGH. Oh, uh, my name's okay. Keegan Gerard Huntley, it's KGH. Just KG means kilogram. I just yeah. Oh just yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's okay. like, oh, it's a bit yeah, of a play yeah. on words. All right, well, kilogram yeah. hours. We do want to say congrats to you because you and Major also got Little Z's set of the tournament. So that'll be an extra oh. <laughs> fifty awesome. US dollars. Little Z's set. It's like <laughs> I nice. sponsored it. Did I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. I mean, like you came through. KFC cool moment. <laughs> Little Z's, Z's set of the tournament. <laughs> Yeah, that was absolutely amazing. You brought in so much hype for the yeah. tournament, Kilogram Hours. Awesome. And I, I yeah. hope, I, in fact, I know that you've got a lot of new fans, so congratulations. Yeah, just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Midwest Mafia. Uh, yeah, shout been helping me, uh, Get to some of the tournaments in the Midwest. You can see me at uh, in person at Saturday Stadium 3 uh, and Combo Breaker. Those are like my next two tournaments coming up. Awesome. Congratulations, Kilogram Hours. Once again, you brought <laughs> some yeah. unbelievable hype that I think nobody was expecting. And yeah, I hope you <laughs> I hope you have a great day, a great night. And you, yeah. you brought a yeah, show. Thanks so Thank much. you.